Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. According to 272win.com, we have a new election map update. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. Alright everyone, here comes our election map. The road to 270 is upon us with each passing day. Let's get that map up and start filling it in. Our source, as wife said, is 272win.com. We are not biased. We use several websites every single week. So, Washington, with 12 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon, with 8 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Hawaii, with 4 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana, with 4 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, with 4 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, with 6 electoral votes, according to 272win.com, is light pink, 2 clicks, giving Donald J. Trump the 6 electoral votes, most likely. Utah, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. They finally updated it. It was blue for like 3 days on 271.com. It's now back to being solid red. Arizona, with 11 electoral votes, according to 272win.com, is gray. It's not colored in. It's a contested battleground state. Donald J. Trump or Kamala Harris need it in order to secure a solid win. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is light blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district is also red for Donald J. Trump. The second district is blue for Kamala Harris. Nebraska at large with the two on the menu is red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is pink for Donald J. Trump. I want to say something about Texas. Uh, with all the people from California and um, Democrat-run states being exodus to Texas, it is making it go from being um, almost solid red to a light pink, and it's almost every few years towing on purple. And this is because people are moving from California, Oregon, Washington, New Mexico, Colorado to Texas because Texas is generally cheaper to live in than those states. The politicians are pushing them out and they're going to Texas and voting in the same people that they escaped from. So they're turning the Republican state of Texas to slowly purple Democrat Texas. Maybe in 10 or 20 years it will flip blue or completely purple. Then it will be a heavy, heavy battleground state. So if you're, a, a word of advice, if you're running away from a state that's run by Republicans to a blue state, you don't want to vote <laughs> Republicans in, in your blue state. And Democrats, if you're running from blue states to a red state, you don't want to vote in the people that you're running away from. So let's continue. Minnesota, with 10 electoral votes, is light blue for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, according to 271.com, and Michigan, according to 271.com, are both gray. Neither state will be colored in. They are battlegrounds. But as of right now, Wisconsin and Michigan heavily favor Kamala Harris, but we will not color them in for the sake of brevity and accuracy. Iowa, with its six electoral votes, is light pink for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is light pink for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. West Virginia, with 4 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with nine electoral votes, 
is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is light pink for Donald J. Trump. Georgia with its 16 electoral votes is a toss-up state heavily contested favoring Trump, but according to 271.com, it's gray, so it will not be colored in. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina with 16 electoral votes is heavily contested according to 271.com with Trump having a slight lead here over Kamala Harris, but we will not color it in. It is gray according to 271.com. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is light blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania with its 19 electoral votes according to 271.com. It's a toss up. They are in a deadlock tie for going on three weeks. Kamala Harris and Donald J. Trump, it will not be colored in. So we have New York with 28 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Maine, the uh, state itself is red for Donald J. Trump and the first district of Maine is blue for Kamala Harris. And the rest of them, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the like are blue for Kamala Harris. That gives Kamala Harris 226 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 225. This election is neck and neck. Who's going to be the winner? Nobody knows as of right now. Maricopa County knows. I can tell you that. Let's just say, I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out.